Hey Aries, happy May. How are you? Welcome back to my wonderful subscribers. Thank you so much for your love and support. If you are new here, hello, welcome. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you find this helpful. Always appreciate it. Make sure you click the notification bell too so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos. So hello, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, whatever makes you happy. Or if you like the title, cross-watching for someone else, or it just played next in your queue. <laughs> Universe works in mysterious ways, and I am here for it. Hello, hello, welcome. If you haven't already watched the May overview for everybody, please do so. Um, May feels pretty good feels like there's a lot of good stuff going on and I, I love it. We are currently in Taurus sun season. So we've got the new moon on the seventh. Um, good manifesting energy there, especially around love and money because Taurus is ruled by Venus. And um, then the sun goes into Gemini on the 20th. Had to check my notes. And then um, we have the Sagittarius full moon on the 23rd and Pluto is going between Aquarius and Capricorn. So might be feeling some of that right now with uh, the energy, just lots going on. So let's see what's here for you, Aries. Please remember this is a general reading. Don't try to shoehorn yourself into anything. Feel free to watch other the other videos that I've got here, like your other placements, if you know them. Um, or whatever makes you happy, whatever title draws you in, there will be a message for you. Again, the universe works in mysterious ways. So here we go, Aries. If you would like your own personal reading, all my info is below. This is the Cosmic Journey Oracle by Yannick Silver. I get a couple cards, some messages for you. As always, this is guidance, invitation, if you will. Um, you always have free will choice, and the universe honors that. Like I said, invitation. <laughs> so you've got number 37, and 3 and 7 is 10. You decided to wake up, or else why did you draw me? Ooh, I like that. And number 14, 1 and 4 is 5. Find your star family in this cosmic game of hide and seek. So with this card, and one thing that I like a lot about this deck is that um, in the guidebook, there are um, what the author calls cosmic catalyst. So it could be meditation or journal prompts for you. So I'll read that off. Um, but you decided to wake up or else why did you draw me? So some of you might be going through a spiritual awakening. Like you feel the universe is calling you, calling you to do something, maybe wake up to your own um, spiritual gifts or, Hey, this is your mile marker time to wake up. Um, cause you need to change lanes or, or do something that's associated with your mission here. Um, our souls always make a blueprint before we incarnate here on earth. And, uh, sometimes we get mile markers or little, little posts that say, Hey, you're on the right track or, Hey, it's time to, veer off and take another direction here. So paying attention um, to what you're doing, maybe because um, this looks like an alarm clock. I think it is supposed to be an alarm clock. So maybe something about your dreams, maybe pay attention to your dreams, uh, do a dream journal. Um, maybe you're getting visitations in your dreams from past over loved ones or from your spirit guides. Um, all kinds of stuff could be happening. Like I said, this is general, so take what fits. So your, um, meditation or journal prompt, what dream or nightmare am I ready to wake up from? Um, and I heard, don't quit your daydream. Isn't that a song? Don't quit your daydream. Um, so something about that as well. So if the beautiful thing is you are the author of your own story. If you don't like the way things are going, you get to end that chapter and start a new one. You get to edit out people that or situations that are no longer in alignment with where you want to go. So time to wake up Aries. Um, pay attention to signs and symbols too. And maybe you keep seeing the same type of bird or 
Um, you keep hearing the same word or you keep seeing the same number sequence, like on your receipt, on the clock, um, a page number in a book, whatever it is, or how many likes are on a post. And you're like, man, I keep seeing 743, 743, 743. What is, what is going on? So maybe look up 743 and the individual numbers, 7, 4, and 3. And I don't know why that's coming through, but maybe for someone 743, maybe it's an address or uh, part of a telephone number, an area code. I, I don't know. Maybe you just keep seeing numbers in general. Um, so keep track of that. Look them up. Look up the synchronicities and the signs. Um, you can even kind of tell spirit, hey, if I'm supposed to do this or do something totally different than what I'm doing already, show me this symbol. So I'd like to tell the story of, I was taking Mike Dooley's uh, 21 day manifesting course. And one of the exercises was to manifest seeing, and I, it was like a bear or something. And I'm like, man, I don't really like that. How about a 10 point buck, not just a deer, a 10 point buck. And I live in Northeast Ohio currently. So, and, and I grew up here. So seeing deer is not abnormal, but a 10 point buck that's not exactly normal. So I said, show me that and went on with my day. I was going to my cousin's then fiance's bridal shower. They've since married. This was a couple years ago. And, um, I'd never been to the apartment complex where they live. So, um, I had no idea. I was just following my GPS, right? Or our proverbial GPS, maybe. So I'm following my GPS. And they didn't, they didn't live too far from me in like maybe 15 miles, not very far. And as I'm turning into the apartment complex where the bridal shower was being held in, in the, uh, like party hall <laughs> they, they, that they have, what's on the sign, a 10 point buck antlers and all. So it was, so I just laughed, looked up and said, thank you spirit. So just be open, be open to, um, if you say, show me this be open to how it comes through. It could be on the radio. It could be a billboard. It could be a social media post. You could be walking through the grocery store and you hear a conversation. Just be very open to receiving. And that's kind of practicing your intuition too. It's connecting with your third eye. Maybe do a third eye chakra meditation. Woo Aries. Okay. <laughs> Look at you guys. Beautiful. And also you decided to wake up. Why else are you here watching tarot readings? Oh, okay. And then find your star family. So this is about, um, like a family is not always blood who we're re physically related to in life. As an adoptee, I can tell you that is 100% the case. Um, I have been with my soul tribe my whole life. I was adopted into it. So your, your family can also be created. It doesn't have to be your family of origin. Um, the people that you choose to surround yourself with, who can you call at two o'clock in the morning when you need to go to the hospital or you can't sleep or, you know, who do you go to for really great advice? Who do you know you can count on in those trying times? So this, these circles are coming through and this came through for someone else. I can't remember which reading it was, but, um, I saw the same thing with the circles. So your really close circle, the very small circle are those people. And then the next outer ring, that would be people that you'll hang out with and you share good times with, like you can go to a ball game or go to dinner, catch up. Maybe they come over and, um, you have a, a little, uh, campfire out back. Um, you know, those are people that are good friends, but they're not your inner circle. And then you have the outer circle. Those are people that you know. They're the ones that you might say hi to if you're out and about or they're lurking friends on social media, you know, whatever it is. They're the people that you would say hello to, but they're just people you know. You don't really interact with them and um, good for you. Glad you're having a nice life. <laughs> they're just people that you know. So your tribe are those who you share those experiences and um, those really intimate moments and details with. They're the people you can really trust. It's like the gang's all here kind of thing. So maybe you need to um, 
start doing some spiritual classes or um, finding a spiritual center in your area and um, just going into the shop and befriending uh, the owner there, maybe any events that are happening, if they have any um, classes like Reiki classes or whatever it might be for you, just to start opening up or keep opening up. So your journal prompt or meditation prompt, who do I have a special connection with? How are we connected in the galactic game? Have you ever met somebody and you're like, man, we just click. It's like, I've known you my whole life. That's a soul tribe person. Okay. So, so work with those circles and see who are those people. And if you are like, I don't have really very many people like that, or I would like to meet new people or more people, um, then just open up, open up, send your, your radio signal out into the world and say, Hey, soul tribe, let's get together. Let's do something. Awesome. And you can meet them through volunteering opportunities, whatever it is for you. All right, let's pull some tarot. So I've got the guardian angel messages tarot here. It was really loud. I always ask my decks who wants to come forward, who's got messages. And this one was super loud. <laughs> so I've been using um, this deck for all the readings. And um, I do not read this deck in reverse. So if you've watched any of my other videos, or if you're familiar um, with tarot, a lot of readers do read reversals and it's not good or bad energy. Like when I work with the light seers tarot, that deck doesn't mind being in reverse. It's just a different way of reading energy. So this deck is like, yeah, I'd rather not. <laughs> I don't like being on my head. So um, I honor the deck, of course. And um, the messages come through regardless. It's beautiful. Ooh, seven of pentacles. This deck is elemental in nature. So it says earth, fire, water, air. I will translate. Don't worry. Okay. Oh, it said one more. Oh, okay. We'll see why. <laughs> Let's find out. So seven of earth Aries. Um, this is seven of pentacles energy. It's about, um, evaluation, taking a step back and looking, are the seeds that I planted, the ones that are, have they grown into what I intended? So you're like assessing the situation. Um, it's also patience because it takes a long time to cultivate. We don't keep digging up a seed to see if it sprouted. We nurture the soil, water, all the good things, make sure that it's doing its thing. And then once it starts popping up, through the surface and we can see it, we keep taking care of it. So it's, it's very, um, like <laughs> I just heard farmer John. So I don't know if that <laughs> resonates for anybody. <laughs> okay. But, um, the, our, our beautiful gardener here, he's taking a look and saying, all right. And he's got a basket. So are any of these, even if you saw them as like apples, are any of them ripe and ready to be picked? Do some of them still need to keep growing on the vine? So take that energy um, you're assessing right now and you're cultivating. And um, you know, if you are opening up to your spidey senses, as I call them, um, you're doing some initial exercises. Um, keep, keep doing that. Keep at it. Keep working at it. It's not something that just, you don't go to the gym and lift 500 pounds immediately. You got to start with like five pounds and work your way up. Same energy. Okay. 10 of wands. 10 of fire, 10 of wands. This is um, like being overworked and underappreciated. Oh, this is such a heavy burden. I, I'm just so exhausted. I need to put this down. We'll go ahead, put the burden down. Tens are completion. So if it's been heavy, if something's not working, you can't fit a square. Uh, how's that go? You can't fit a square peg into a round hole. So just finding balance here. Um, and since I'm seeing a kitchen, if you do feel like, um, I would love to go to more classes. I would love to do more stuff, but I just, I have all these responsibilities. Take each wand out and give them to other people. If there are other people in your household, Hey, I cook dinner. Can you clean up so that I can run and, and go to this class or Hey, um, it would many hands make light work. If this is at work, Hey, I've got a lot of, a lot of projects going on. Um, do you have some free time that I can delegate this over to you and I'll take this over here and then we can get everything done. Many hands make light work. So 
Our needs cannot be met if they're not made known. All right. The wheel right here in the middle is divine timing. And look at all these cute little cherubs. Um, like luck and uh, so, you know, the wheel, <laughs> wheel of luck, wheel of fortune, sometimes it's called, um, but it's about divine timing and how everything is in perfect order and the wheel, the universe isn't actually a perfect circle. It's a spiral. So there's a spiral here. I hope it's showing up on the camera. I can't tell, um, but like keep going. There's progress to be made. Um, maybe you need a little bit of a change. Maybe the wheels need to change direction. Again, take this how it resonates for you. Mm, with the star, Aquarius energy, um, inspiration and wishes granted. This is the wish granted card to me. Um, so again, weeds are wildflowers here in the seven of earth, seven of pentacles, the star. So wishing upon a star, um, the water bearer is Aquarius. That's why it's the Aquarius card. So um again with the many hands make light work sharing the burden you don't have to do everything but um, if you are manifesting you're on the right track there's some confirmation for you aries beautiful the seven of wands here this is about healthy boundaries but also <laughs> um determination and if people are like coming to you because you're the one who always does everything and you're like, Whoa, hold on. No, don't come at me with that energy. You take yours, you take this one, you take that one fair and equal distribution. Um, isn't usually how I read this card, but I'm, I'm hearing it. So we're going to say it. Um, just because you're the one that usually does things doesn't mean you have to be the one who always does things. Maybe releasing a little bit of control too, like, putting that down, put down the burden, put down that wand. You don't have to be so defensive. Um, again, so if you're being defensive because it's like, I can't take on anymore. Okay. All you had to do was say so like, Hey, okay. Or Hey, it doesn't have to be done right now. Like you've got the unique skill set for this. We're willing to wait until you do have time for it. Awesome. With the two of air, this is the two of swords. This is about making a decision. Um, again, with these paths. So which, which way do you want to go? How would you make decisions if you knew you couldn't make the wrong decision? If every decision you made was right, if you knew that, I'm telling you, <laughs> every decision you make is the right one. Even if it feels like, oh man, that was the wrong choice. Guess what? If you go down this path and you're like, man, that was the wrong choice. Or you go down this path, I should have taken the other one. You were going to meet the same obstacles either way. You were going to get the same challenges, the same reasons to celebrate all of the same lessons. It's just a different scenery. Really? That's it. So if you're feeling confused, if you're like, man, I don't know what to do. There you go. Tap into your intuition, Aries. Open up your, maybe this is another reason why you want to open up your spidey senses, or this is your invitation. Like, hey, if you would just, your guys are like, man, if you would just talk to us, we could get you the message. Would you listen? So um, practice that, Aries, practice that. Let's get you some mantras for the month of May from the Law of Positivism Oracle. Hey, finally, I'm saying it right. If you watch the main reading, you'll know I had a really hard time <laughs> saying that word. I don't know why. I don't know why, but okay. <laughs> it's like got too many syllables or something. Okay, so here we go. Number 18, one and eight is nine. Beyond my mind, I am consciousness in human form. Oh, that's so beautiful, Aries. So beautiful. It's exactly what we've been saying. Um, tapping into your intuition, into your crown and third eye chakra. So your crown's on top of your head, like where a crown would go. And your third eye is in your eyebrows, uh, like right between your eyebrows. Um, it's your third eye chakra. So those are your um, intuition centers. So getting beyond your mind, your, you, uh, your thoughts become things, but you're more than just your thoughts. Drop into your heart center too. 
consciously co-creating it all the time. You are, we all have the divine spark within us. So now you are connecting with that. You're realizing it. You're waking up to this. Oh, that's so great. Oh, I'm so excited. Welcome to the club, Aries. We have jackets. Okay. Number two, <laughs> as I heal my mind, I heal my body and maybe horses. Um, I had a dream a couple of weeks ago about a, about a brown horse. So this is interesting. There's always a message for the reader. Um, so maybe you're connected to horses in some way or brown horses specifically in some way. Um, horse therapy, equine therapy, um, horse spirit, you know, whatever it is for you. Um, they're very healing. Horses are very intuitive. So maybe embodying horse spirit right now would be good for you. So healing your mind also heals your body because our, our thoughts, um, think about anxiety. Like a lot of people have heart palpitations or they get nauseated or they have acid reflux. Um, so in healing your mind, your body also heals because our souls use our meat suit avatars to send us messages of, Hey, something's not right here. Um, so there's, there's an invitation for you there embracing horse spirit and horse energy, gorgeous energy, Aries. Yay. This is beautiful. Um, so you've got your homework. Don't know if you knew you were going to get homework when you started watching this, but here you go. <laughs> Here's your homework. Um, again, this is general. So take what resonates. If you want to dive deeper into what this means for you, or you want your own specific reading, all of my information is in the doc bleh, 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 description box below. I would be honored to read from you, read for you. I promise I'm usually more eloquent. There's just a lot of energy right here right now. <laughs> so anyway, um, have a great month, Aries. We're going to keep doing some check-ins here um, throughout the month, but this is a, this is a pretty good place to start. Keep opening up to your intuition and, and get with your soul family. All right, Aries. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful month. Take care.